Uh, SMEC and DGC has developed many systems. Uh, today I will introduce you our project monitoring system uh, PMIS. Uh, monitoring is a process that helps improving performance and achieving results. Its goal is to improve current and future management of outputs, outcomes and impact. It is mainly used to access the performance of project, institutions and programs set by the governments, international organizations and NGOs. It, establ uh, it establishes link between the past, present and future actions. Uh, one of the major challenge of the project is to monitor performance and anticipate uh, uh, project completion with respect to time schedule, resources and costs so that corrective actions could be taken in timely manner. Uh, we have developed the most innovative tool PMIS to address these challenges. <coughs> Main feature of our system are it is web based, it is user friendly and uh, project progress anytime anywhere it is real time online 24 by 7 available uh, to our uh, to all stakeholder through an access code it is secure it uses uh, secure access using user permission privileges and rights uh, pre-programmed reports and charts and use of open source technology to get to ensure the source code availability for future reuses uh, data entry from anywhere to ensure reliability and accuracy through participative uh, collaboration remotely using web interfaces and we use result based monitoring techniques I will explain you what is result based <coughs> every organization every project has strategic objectives which is normally called as PDOs and then we uh, down the line we divide those strategic objectives into into outcomes and outcome to output then activities and then inputs now if we if we divide this whole result based monitoring system <coughs> into a computer based system it has three parts one is MIS part MIS part comprise of this inputs and activities and then the ETL part uh, ETL stand for extract, transform and, and load tools and then BI part. BI is uh, uh, business intelligence so which provides means for monitoring. So the output output of all this uh, all this exercise will be a project deliverable reports, its KPIs, uh, I mean monitoring, risk monitoring and uh, on the basis of that it will form dashboards and scorecards and also we can record lesson learned. I have already explained this uh, uh, thing so I will just pass through and here is the overall concept so our system is based on a centralized server and it has MIS uh, physical financial progress monitoring and then BI monitoring system, extract, transform and load tools, and web portal, GIS and document management system and user rights and permission. Under those user rights and permission, uh, PMU, supervisory consultant, MND and all other stakeholder can access the system. Uh, we have developed this system for uh, for different projects in different sectors like hydropower, transportation, etc. Uh, some of our major projects include PMU support for lower body, Dwap Canal Improvement Project, LBDC IP, uh, Tarbela Fourth Extension Hydropower Project, uh, Punjab Soft Pani Company, <coughs> and other projects. Now I will present you live demonstration of some project monitoring information systems. Uh, that's a system for <coughs> for Tarbela. Uh, Tarbella fourth extension. It has a KPI, uh, I mean monitoring dashboard, VO2, which is variation order 2 uh, uh, dashboard and, and daily progress monitoring dashboard. Uh, just to save time, I will just uh, explain a little bit about the DPM dashboard. <coughs> the system is live, that's why it will take little time to load the, <coughs> the data. Now here you can see that 
कि दिस स्मॉल पैनल प्रोवाइड्स यू एक्सेस टू ऑल ऑल डेटाज एंड कंपोनेंट सब कंपोनेंट्स प्लस ऑन दिस साइड कि यू हैव प्रोग्रेस कि टेबुलेटेड यू वी सी जस्ट वन टेबल इट सेज यूनिट्स एंड डेली क्वान्टी एंड टोटल क्वान्टी रिमेनिंग क्वान्टी टोटल परसेंटेज डन नंबर ऑफ डेज स्टार्ट डेट फिनिश डेट प्लस दिस हैज एडिशनल फैसिलिटी ऑफ सेंडिंग एन ई मेल अवर सिस्टम कैन ऑटोमेटिकली सेंड ई मेल विदाउट ह्यूमन इंट्रैक्शन प्लस यू कैन ऑल्सो सी ओवर व्यू ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट जस्ट बाई क्लिकिंग दैट फोटोग्राफ एंड यू कैन सी कि वट इज वट एंड एंड वेयर इट इज एंड ऑल्सो यू कैन सी द पिक्टोरियल व्यू now let's explore little bit about you know, some of the component intake excavation this could be anything if it's a road project it could be excavation for raw uh, for road so it's like that now that shows a line graph for that uh, for that activity if you see these are two lines one the blue one uh, is the progress actual progress and the dark blue is is the planned one so if you see that uh, box it says actual progress planned progress actual progress to date percentage <coughs> and planned progress to to date percentage average percentage per day which is uh, currently uh, uh, the progress rate and uh, to achieve that within that line uh, uh, the required rate per day is this planned completion days was this but projected Uh, completion date it's it's coming here so system has a capability okay, on the basis of uh, uh, on the basis of historic data it can tell you uh, uh, the future date when this system when this activity will be finished now here are the details start date end date and all those quantities and things and 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 different and different things right now uh, further go into a detail you can see that that's the uh, overall dam and we are talking about only for that part and here is the actual uh, drawing for that intake part which is the excavation and things like that here yeah, we can further go down let's say okay, we are interested to see mucking and uh, if i say generate report you'll see once again the same data but this time data is in a in a in a quantitative form plus it has shown me by the red mark okay, that this activity is already has crossed its time limit so we it's already time bar it it was supposed to finish here but still it's continued plus all the same data which i have already explained and here is the uh, further detailed view uh, for which part we are talking about and what the work we are talking about so that was little about uh, tarbela fourth extension thing now i will show you the web portal uh, for lower bari dwap canal improvement just to give you an overview how web portal works just see that this is a website it's a information website on which you can uh, post your advertisement and 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 tell your processes and project uh, public information you can display on there plus the project information it has lot of sections like maps if we click on a map you will see that it will show you the project maps and you can uh, see that this is the project area and that's the project map and that's a particularly uh, baloki map so this is uh, just like a website uh, which depicts all the information uh, which need to be which need to be displayed publicly under the disclosure of uh, information ordinance now we uh, i will just give you a little brief about the about the saaf pani project and that's a punjab saaf pani program initiated by by punjab government the beauty in this project is that this is ju not just mis it also involve uh, it it also involve gis as well so uh, we'll need to click here to go to data query when we click once again same small dashboard and you see on this side 
uh, there are uh, there is a satellite view plus it is marked with the okay <coughs> with uh, uh, with those uh, uh, small okay, thumbnails which is depicting about the about villages now if we go down you will see the demographic it depicts all the all all the graphical view of this of the uh, of that district here is the table and you can turn off and on this table now let's see if we want to see some village if i just click on that village that boer melsi so system will automatically take to that village and if you see on the left side it has already selected tehsil it has already selected village plus it has selected that uh, social part of that of that thing okay now let's let that load it because data is live it will take little time uh, to load all that all that um, the graphs and and satellite image because this is a live system so okay now you can see here here is a demographic of 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 for okay, for that particular village only plus this table depicts only data for that village what is the status of that village we can just click you can see and what facilities are available what diseases are there what are water borne diseases what treatment here okay, they are uh, okay, using what they uh, uh, what healthcare expenses per head they are using <coughs> and uh, and what about the source of drinking water and what is the pumping depth and things like that now on the on on the map side if you see it has depict on the uh, it has depicted on that uh, satellite image uh, about that uh, area now let's see if we go on a on a technical side and uh, i select technical i'll generate report now here uh, our gis working will start where all different layers and things will be be shown on the map for the better understanding of the of the situation about about water supply schemes and and different aspects of the of drinking water now if you notice that uh, there is another small box appearing on left hand side panel that is a buffer part because once we uh, uh, fix some uh, treatment plant or filtration plant we need to know for which village it will serve so to find out that area we uh, we uh, yeah we need to have buffer uh, by which we can define uh, buffer area and and we can analyze if which area will be served by this um, by this filtration plant let's see if we go on a uh, some village where we have a watch by scheme <coughs> so system will automatically find out if watch by scheme exist or not if water supply scheme do not exist system will say no there is no water supply but if it exists it will show you the map and things or uh, uh, relating to that uh, that village yeah there is a water supply scheme and if you see okay now let's go back on to the system and you can see underneath there is a, a details for water supply for water supply scheme i mean who own them uh, what they are doing all right so i have uh, loaded that part uh, just to show you the buffers okay how buffer works it 
it will take little time for loading and um, you can see that it's up to the tessie level so you can zoom in zoom out and also you can see all the all the word supply scheme in that area all 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 are listed here and you can turn off those villages things it's exactly like gis as we do in arcgis or some other gis software it's exactly like that now let's say if i have <coughs> a treatment facility here and i want to know let's say if i install treatment facility here and i want to know how much if uh, okay, which okay, which village will be covered in in two kilometer area for that uh, for that village so i will just click and uh, I will click here and then I will draw a buffer you will see it will automatically draw a buffer and you will be able to analyze okay this village is so that much population is, is served with this treatment facility so that was little about the about the systems which we have developed thank you very much